We're here once again, and it's gonna be a beautiful time. Hold on a second, I'm missing something. Okay, that's better. I can't believe I almost forgot my beautiful fedora. <laughs> that would have been a tragedy. I'm feeling amazing today, a little bit tired, but I'm expecting to be invigorated by what we read today, so <laughs> everything just works out well. The legal age in Spain is 16. The legal age in Japan, where Pokemon is made is 13. It's not targeted for America's standards. Oh, take a shower. <laughs> that is such a funny and also like funny. I feel like I shouldn't laugh at that sort of funny response. But yeah, that's so gross. Nah, dude, they're actually 4,000 years old. It's totally fine. <laughs> nah. Life after 30, forever alone or single mums. There's so much wrong with this. <laughs> so like on the left hand side, they have Forever Alone as this beautiful, sunny, happy castle. And on the right is Single Mums, which is scary and bad and terrifying. So what's the issue? Go and be forever alone. <laughs> like if that's how you feel, then yeah, be forever alone. But also, it's not like everybody's a single mum. And also, single mums are not a bad thing. <laughs> and you're acting like the single mums want to be with you. <laughs> Which is the biggest funny part. Like imagine having the audacity to be like, oh yeah, single mums all want me. <laughs> How dare you bro. <laughs> Somebody changes their profile picture and yeah, this looks really old. That's the really old version of Facebook, isn't it? Now this I can do the solo diddly to. Ew. Consider it a compliment. You're adorable. Yeah, thanks, but no. <laughs> well, screw this. I'm gonna go watch anime. <laughs> Is that real? Oh my god. Somebody publicly said all of this. Oh my god. Yeah, wow. I'll tell you what. I'm not tipping my fedora to this. That's for damn sure. Oh yeah, this a Lord of the Rings one. And for you, Frodo Baggins, I give you my bath water. For all of you thirsty fellow Fellowship boys. <laughs> oh, thank you. This will help me get to Mordor much faster. <laughs> Here are the following reasons why you should never shave your beard. Beards make you more attractive. According to studies, the 10 day stubble is the most attractive. Clean shaven was the least attractive facial hair. Less attractive than a full beard. The reason women, especially while ovulating, are attracted to masculinity. Broad shoulders, height, deep voice and beard. Clean shaven only makes you attractive to other men. Beards signify authority. In most corporate jobs, you aren't allowed to grow a beard. You must shave every day. Having a beard means you must own a business, which, no it doesn't. <laughs> which will make women be instantly attracted to ya. Okay, you've lost me, buddy. Clean shaven is creepy. Men who shave all their facial hair are obsessed with looking young and pretty. Real men don't care how attractive attractive they look. Even though you literally started this by saying beards make you more attractive, but you're not meant to care if you're attractive or not, okay? Clean shaven also means you're afraid of your own masculinity. No, it doesn't. <laughs> don't shave your beard. If you don't have a beard, get a beard transplant. Beards make you instantly more attractive to women. Now listen, I do like a beard, and like I know I'll have a beard when the time is right, but you can completely lost me there. Yeah, like the top comment says, real men don't care about how attractive they look, but you should also grow a beard to look more attractive. Yeah, and also this comment here, I think it's more like looking like you weren't trying is more attractive. The effortless but stylish look is always solid, whereas being perfectly kept down to each minute detail can seem uncanny and sterile. Yeah, like I totally get liking a beard, but the the rest of this was ridiculous. <laughs> Classic tantrum after rejection. You could marry me, a marriage for love. The princess is brazen and relentless. A spider who stings and sucks her prey dry. A spoiled C word. <laughs> I don't know what this is. <laughs> and apparently the bottom one is like 10 years later. So they've held a grudge the entire time. You know, like I know it's a character, but there are people 
like this, where they go from, will you please marry me, I love you, to you're a spoil to C word. <laughs> I don't even know how you connect those two. Like, how do you get from here to here? Where you at? You want to make out? Freaking answer me, you giant. I've already earned you. Frick your crappy job. I come first, me. My God, you're a freaking a-hole. Oh my God. I've earned you and the right to sleep with you for months now. Wake up. I deserve you naked and the right to appreciate and have you in bed. And you're being an ass about it. You aren't anyone special. Yeah, there's nothing funny about this. It's just revolting. I'm going to show you guys my new Pokemon cards because I don't want to talk about this. Well, they're not new Pokemon cards, but they're new to me. I got two GX Tag Team booster boxes and I have them in these cases so they're safe forever. And they have these beautiful little magnetic lids. And yeah, let's pretend we never read that post. <laughs> Neckbeard Jesus isn't real. He can't hurt you. Neckbeard Jesus. Hey, my lady. It's me, the Lord. I know you heard me knock. Freaking S word. You're why women go to hell. <laughs> Neckbeard Jesus can't be real. Yeah, but even if Neckbeard Jesus isn't real, there are so many people exactly like this. <laughs> Sadness. Leg beards. You're not Asian. You're not from Japan or Korea. Uh, what? <laughs> yeah, I need to make a leg beard video so bad. I remember when we did the Miss Piggy Chronicles like ages ago. I've genuinely thought about redoing those videos, revisiting them and reading them again today. And like the wolf beard series and all that stuff. But yeah, a leg beard video needs to happen. I hate nice girls. If they so much as say hello, it stays on my mind. If they return texts, my heart races. The day one calls me, I know I'll look at my call history and grin. But that's just them being nice. People who are nice to me are also nice to everybody else. I almost end up forgetting that. If the truth is cruel, then lies must be kind. That's why kindness is a lie. I gave up on always expecting it, always mistaking it, and even hoping for it. Someone who's worked so hard at being alone doesn't fall for the same trick twice. I'm a veteran at this. I'm the best when it comes to losing. That's why I'll always hate nice girls. So apparently it's from an anime. The amount of relief I feel right now <laughs> is unbelievable. But if that's not from an anime or it's not a quote, this attitude is the problem. Like you're the problem, okay? <laughs> you know, like obviously too, it's not even me being rude. If you think like this, I'm the best when it comes to losing. That's why I'll always hate nice girls. Yeah, just know that you're the one who's doing that. But yeah, hopefully it's from an anime. If her head tilts away, the you-know-what will stray. If her head tilts away, her you-know-what will stray. What is sexual polarity? The feminine wants to lean into the masculine. She wants to enter his world, feel his strength and feel his protection. Feel his protection and submit to his guidance. Polarity is the foundation for sexual attraction. Right, so we have another one here. She knows how to cook. That's better than she has a master's degree. And another one. Every tattoo on her body represents 10 you-know-whats in her mouth. Oh my god. But the most insane thing is that somebody will say stuff like that last one and they'll still think that women are to blame. <laughs> Females and their tattoos. Oh my god. How to alienate quality prudent men looking for long-term partner. One, be covered in tattoos. Am I the only one who hates this crap? There's a comment here that says, I love when they give us advice on how to keep them away. <laughs> hey, you pathetic excuse of a son. Being a Reddit moderator isn't making you any money and you haven't worked in the last 10 years. Are you alright being accepted as an incel by other Redditors? Cool story. You should see a doctor about that butt hurt though. It looks serious. <laughs> you should see a doctor about that butt hurt. <laughs> I have to start saying this. Finding it really difficult to play FF7 because I just keep having to go and do the solo diddly every five minutes. I don't know if it's their hair or something, but I'm absolutely in love. Just one sniff of them each and I could die happy. 
<laughs> Anybody else got this problem? Just one sniff of them and I can die happy. I can't believe I read this today. Who am I kidding? Of course I can. I'm traveling in Japan and a girl on the subway fell asleep on me just like an anime. <laughs> oh, come on. This is way too much. I can't do this. I'm so addicted to the cringe. It's unbelievable. I love it so much. Watching shame on the airplane. Lolly next to me keeps looking at my screen. How do you discreetly watch a movie on the plane? Calling actual children lollies? Ugh. Yeah, moving on. <laughs> I'm gonna head to Southeast Asia to lose my virginity. I never thought that a white male in their early 20s already has to consider going to Southeast Asia to not only lose my virginity, but also enjoy experiences that were denied to me in high school and university. I'm tired of being the nice guy. I listen to every woman whine about their date and how they treated them like crap, but all of a sudden I learned that their crappy behaviors are being rewarded with the horizontal mumbo by the woman. No woman has ever expressed interest in me besides using me for a free meal because I work a good job and that I'm on average smarter than most men my age. Oh my God. I'll never be the bad boy that women want me to be, but that's their fault, not mine. I should be able to enjoy the horizontal mumbo. It's a necessary milestone for my character development. Yeah, feels entitled to it. Oh my God. Yet, because I treated women like humans, I'm somehow the bad guy. I can't wait to fly to Southeast Asia to have the horizontal mumbo because it's about time to rebel against society for being a good guy. <laughs> oh, that one makes me want to cry. I just want to know why Southeast Asia is the surefire place, lol. Yeah, 100%. Oh, that one was a lot. <laughs> like, that's a lot to digest. Had a wonderful Valentine's Day with Marnie. We had an amazing dinner and a delicious dessert, and then we enjoyed a great movie we'd both been looking forward to. Oh, Marnie the Pokemon card. <laughs> no way. Wow, that's so funny. I'm pretty sure I have that card. <laughs> I'm not a neckbeard, okay? It was only the part where they said, it's a movie that we've both been looking forward to. Like, come on. It's a Pokemon on card. I love them as well, but not like this. Okay, wholesome meme time. Even sadder is that your name reminded me of an online friend who has the same username as you on Instagram. She hasn't been on for two years. I miss you, weeb. Bro, that is me. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> wow, 170,000 likes on a YouTube comment. That is so beautiful. I'm so glad you found it other. Do you ever look at your pet just to like, how are you real? How is this a level of cuteness even possible? Have you seen your own tiny paws? <laughs> yeah, I've 100% done this and I'll show you guys two photos of Chico that I took today. This one here and also this one here. He's so damn amazing. Look at that cute little fella. You are sad. Take this. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Small little fella. Trainer, what are your goals? Me, to pet all of the dogs. Trainer, no, fitness goals. Me, to be able to run fast enough to pet all of the dogs. <laughs> very, very good goal. Very relatable goal also. I need to be fit so I can keep up with the poochies. All right, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you had a wonderful time today. And if you did, make sure you like and subscribe and let me know down below what you thought. And the comment of the day goes to Blackwing. I'm proud to announce that this this was the fastest click I've ever performed. Oh, thank you. That genuinely means a lot to me. Like if I upload a video and I'm looking at the comments, I love seeing stuff like this. Just any sort of indicator that people are enjoying the content really puts a smile on my face. So thank you. All right, guys, have a wonderful rest of your day. And you know what I'm about to say. Bye.